we have seen a resurge of racism in a way that we've not seen in many years. And I think black people have to realize that we have to come together just as our forefathers did. You say Hobson City, Alabama. The first thing that comes to mind for me is black independence and pride. It was a memorable experience. I mean, being in a city that was headed by African-Americans. I think people who went to school there saw themselves in power, saw the potential to run a city which you don't see every day. Having the urge of wanting to go into a building that they've never been into it, forbidden to go into, but still passing by it every day, I want to see. I wonder what it's like in there. I wonder what that restaurant is like on the inside. They might pass by and hear a jukebox playing and see a crowd full of people, but they're not allowed to go. After a while, you know, you start feeling excluded. You got a little more intrigue or you know, a little interest about what it is you've been excluded from. So now all of a sudden, here it goes, the doors open. And as the doors open up, man, we there now. We got the same rights they got. We could go to the same stores they go to. So, okay, here we go. We're gonna bypass the stores right here in our city because the stores in Oslo is more like a field trip. And every once in a while, you hear people talking about how proud they are of Hobson City. But I think those people have to stop talking about that pride and start coming together to work to make some things happen for Hobson City. Because when you talk to people, for the most part, all they know is that Hobson City is the oldest black city in Alabama. But yeah, what about being the oldest black city in Alabama? What does that mean to you? And what does that mean now? People are sitting back now waiting for something to happen, but nothing is going to happen until we get together as a people and talk about what it is that we want to make happen for Hobson City.